learn to draw in minutes by using letters and numbers with Buffalo Potato. Hi, welcome back to Buffalo Potato. I'm John. That's Buffalo. What up? Hey, what's up, buddy? And uh, we're going to do a Valentine's Day episode. Uh, coming up in America is uh, Valentine's Day, which is this holiday where you tell people that you love them that you love them. Like your boyfriend, your girlfriend, kids at school, your mom, your dad, your grandparents. It's just a day to celebrate love in all its many wonderful chocolate flavored forms. Let's take a look at love. Would you like to take a walk? Do you think it's gonna rain? How about a sarsaparilla? Gee, the mood is yellow. Something good will come from that. Mm-hmm. Have you heard the latest song? Mm-hmm. It's a very pretty strain. And that's enough of that. Okay, so today I'm going to teach you how to draw a Cupid using nothing but numbers and letters. What's a Cupid? Well, that's that little baby that flies around with the wings and the diaper and the bow and arrow and what's well, just a cute little thing for you to draw and uh, you know add to your homemade Valentine's card that you're gonna make this week hopefully so you need three things you need a pen you need a piece of paper and you need to watch me so let's start with our piece of paper straight up and down like this and the first thing we're gonna draw is a letter we're gonna draw a lowercase n and it's gonna be pretty big it's gonna be the top of our little cupid so one line down and over like that nice and relaxed right in the middle of the paper here guys so go down and go around. Perfect. And now we're gonna draw a lowercase c, just like this, just a little c, that's gonna be the ear. And that's gonna go right here where this n ends. So where this n ends, attach a c, n, c. Now we have all this space between here and here. We're gonna fill that with a lowercase w, not a pointy one like that, no, no. It's just gonna be a soft, kind of W. Looks like a bird in flight, only upside down. Okay, from here to here. So put your pen here, nice and easy. Go W, just like that. There's your W. And that's your Cupid, guys. Take care. No. I know. Keep going. <laughs> okay, the next thing we're going to draw are two number sixes. One six here and one six there. These are going to be the eyes of our Cupid, okay? So we're going to put one here and we're going to put one here. Not too big now and kind of draw them so that they look exactly the same. Leave that space right there in the middle. Six, six. Now right here in the middle, we're gonna draw a lowercase n, a small one, just like this. Don't worry about that line. We don't need the line, we just need that kind of bumpy look. It's the nose, okay? So put it right here in the middle, just like that. Isn't that adorable? And just beneath that, we're going to draw a U, but not a normal U like this, because we don't do things normally here. It's gonna be a wide U, sort of like a bowl without a top. Like a bowl without a top. Okay, watch me, right down here. A Little bit bigger than the end. So start here, go under and end there. Look at that, that is a smiley face and that is adorable. Now we're gonna do the number seven, just to the left of the Cupid's face. We're gonna create that wing, okay? So we're gonna do a seven, just like this. Put your pen right here. Doesn't need to be too big. Go over and down, and there's your seven. Now where it ends, we're gonna make feathers, and we're gonna accomplish this by putting two letters together. We're gonna draw a W, and we're gonna add a U to it, just like that, okay? That's gonna be the feathery wing. So put your pen here, and it doesn't have to be perfect, it just needs to be fun. There's our W, there's our U, and that's our wing. So now we gotta do another wing over here. So to make that shape of that wing, we're gonna use a lowercase r this time. So it's down and across just like that. Almost the same height as the seven. So take a look at that. Just kind of imitate it a little bit over here. So we're gonna do a line down here and we're gonna do our r like that. And now we need to finish off that wing. So we're gonna go in reverse. We're gonna draw a u first and then we're gonna do the w just like that. And that's gonna make up our feathers. So start here and there. U, W, nice. All right, we're almost there, okay? Just a couple more things. We're gonna do the number six. This time make it a real sloppy six, like like that. Bing, bling, whatever that is. <sighs> Go away. Right here, it's gonna be the little curl on the top of our head. Look at that, isn't that adorable? And two 
final letters, two small ends, one like that and one like that for those little eyebrows. They go right over each six. So we do N here, N here, and guess what, guys? You got yourself a Cupid. Now you can add all kinds of cute things that decorate your scene in high-speed film, like this. And there's your Cupid, all nice and pretty and high speed. I hope you had fun. I know I sure did. Happy Valentine's Day. Muffalo, ah. happy Valentine's Day. I love you, buddy. <laughs> oh, and he loves me too. And I love you guys as well. I hope you're having fun. Remember, rewind and draw it and look at it as many times as you need to. Pause if you have to. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to be fun. So get out there and make those Valentines. And I'll see you next time with another fun thing to draw on Muffalo Potato, Tato, Tato, Tato. Uh-huh. All right. Muffalo says he wants you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook. We post new videos with new things to draw every Saturday morning. And you can log on to MuffaloPotato.com to see all kinds of fun surprises and neat things. What? Oh, if you have pictures you want to show us or maybe an idea on what you want me to draw next, you can write to me, John at MuffaloPotato.com. Make sure you ask your parents' permission first. Say goodbye, Muffalo.